Curtis and Williams. Both Curtis and Williams on the bench right now. Perhaps getting the rest of the stretch run as Mason hits the three-point shot. Cuts it back to a one-point game. Winthrop just continues to nail the three-pointers. They're just under 50% from behind the arc in this ballgame, 7 of 15. Polonese drives through the foul. Good job by Polonese of getting around his defender. Just couldn't get the shot to fall. But Matt, going back to the Winthrop shooting, they're just shooting the ball excellently from outside. Uh, a torrid pace, 60%. Is that what you said earlier? Uh, no, they're just under 50% right now. They're 7 15. They're at 47%. Uh, still a hot pace shooting the three ball. And that certainly has kept them in the basketball game as Polonese goes to the line for two. Now, Polonese has been an enigma at the foul line. He shoots 51.5% from the floor. 38.5% from the three-point line, but 46% from the free-throw line. He just missed his first. And it looks like he's got a good shot. Maybe like Cortes, he's just got to keep firing it. But uh, Paul Lees is a guy that can take the ball off, take the dribble and go to the hole with it. Draws a lot of fouls. Certainly got to get that percentage up to help him miss down the stretch of the SEC and continue on this non-conference schedule. Two-point lead for the Rebels. They're a 65% free-throw shooting team on the season. They are. Seven, and there's the turnover on the Eagles. Matt, you, got, you got number 10, young man is a junior college transfer, Terrence Watson out of Detroit, Michigan. He's only 6'5", but he's got a wingspan of a seven-footer. If you look at the arms on this guy, he really takes up a lot of space and causes a turnover. Turnover's even down at 12 apiece. You haven't seen much of the man-to-man -man pressure tonight. Uh, went through a back in man-to-man -man pressure. Trying to get the ball inside of the Rebels. Parnell shot blocked by Gaynor. Got it back. And then he goes to the other side of the hoop. He puts it in. He just muscled his way. He was not going to be denied. And uh, once again, Rebels in off-court pressure. But that's what Jeremy Parnell brings you from off the bench. He's got a lot of excitement, lots of energy. And he's a kid who's changed his body, too. He's tough inside. Persistent got his fourth point of the night and a four-point lead for the Rebels. This game quickly finding the pace that Andy Kennedy and the staff would like to see. Like to get this game up in the 80s and he's with it, of course, would like to keep it in the 50s and 60s. Inside they go, Corbin, and an offensive foul on Charles Corbin. No basket. And we've seen lots of offensive fouls tonight. It's been on both ends, but uh, it's certainly a frustrating foul of a young man trying to, to make this shot. Right into Jeremy Parnell, and Corbin picks up the foul. He's a freshman. He'll learn to do better than that, of course, as he gets older in his program. But that's, uh, that's a tough foul. And now they went back, and they said originally the basket was no good, and then they changed it. They said the basket is good. Gaynor comes up with a steal, and now they have a chance to take the lead. Winthrop with the pressure to have the turnover, and they're back on the offensive end. Harris ties the game. Lots of lead changes so far in this basketball game. Rebels can't seem to put them away. Winthrop certainly can't put the Rebels away. We've got a tight contest. Eight minutes to go in the basketball game. Antoine Harris with 15 points on the night. Polonese airballs it, but uh, Gaskins was there to pick it up and put it in. That was a perfect pass, would you say, Matt? It was. <laughs> Off the glass. Two-point lead for the Rebels. Harris quickly approaching his career high, 21 a year ago. Manny Robinson rolls it in. Nice little thing to roll as he dribbled around pressure and rolled it in. Got the, got the nice roll. Both teams continue to put the full-court pressure. Cross court to Polonese. Parnell is in. Jeremy Parnell, we talked about him a few minutes ago. Gets a little inside pass from Polonese and goes over the two hand scoop. Neither team able to get much separation here in the last couple of minutes. Ole Miss is led by as much as eight in this game, went through it by as much as seven. Steal by Gaskins. Got foul. Yeah, that's a tough foul. Gaskins uh, going up for the layoff, is taken all the way to the floor. He 
He's trying to get this old Miss crowd in check for back in this basketball game as we go to, go to, to play. Colonies dishes at the channel. The Rebels have a two-point lead. Just under seven minutes to play. Make sure you visit CSS-Sports.com for the most recent programming schedules, contests, and up-to-minute scores from around the Southeast. CSS is your source when it comes to Southeast sports. Matt Stewart, Harry Harrison with you at the Mississippi Coliseum in Jackson, Mississippi. First time in 18 years that the Rebels have played here in the state capitol and Winthrop trying to spoil the party for Andy Kennedy and his team. And as we go back to the line, look at these stats. The Winthrop Eagles still shooting the lights out on this basketball game. Shooting 55% from the floor in almost 47 cent from the three-point range. Tonight's attendance, just over 4,400 folks here. Gaskins, three-point lead for the Rebels. Trevor Gaskins, young man who picked up two early fouls and struggled in the first half trying to get untracked here as this uh, game runs down. Gaskins, 81% from the free throw line, gives the Rebels a four-point lead. 